Okay, people have been asking me for an update on my speeding ticket hearing. Of course, several months ago, I was pulled over on the way to the studio. I was given a speeding ticket. I uh, decided to appeal that ticket and to fight the ticket. Now, after that a clip where I talked about that on the show, I got a bunch of emails from people saying, here's what you have to do, here's what you have to do. You should ask for all these documents, file a motion for discovery. Hopefully you won't get them. And then when you show up, you say, hey, I didn't get the documents. It, that we don't know that the uh, LIDAR was calibrated. We don't know that the officer was trained on the LIDAR. You can't, you can't charge me with a speeding ticket. So I did that. I actually sent in a motion for discovery asking for a bunch of documents. I thought I was kind of in the clear. Now I just wait and see if I get any documents. Not so. I got a call from the court indicating that my motion for discovery needs to be presented to a judge and the judge will decide whether it's a legitimate motion for discovery. If it's not legitimate, as we know, the court has a way of shutting that whole thing down. As we know from Todd Aiken and from a right. number of others, things can just be shut down like that. So I have, I'm, I'm pretty scared actually. I don't know, do they, am I, is it literally a judge or is it just the magistrate? Because speeding tickets are under a magistrate here in Massachusetts or at least where, where we live. So I have no idea. Do I? Uh, I have no idea what to do. I mean, it's it's literally. Uh, you walk you know. in and you say, "I I was not speeding. I need all these documents to to prove or disprove that this person is is trained that the gun was working properly. That you just say be, you what, say because I, I, I get, wasn't speeding. I get broadly the idea, yeah. but what if I mean, you know? Number one, I don't know how formal of a court proceeding this is. Traffic court is not very formal. Because it's a magistrate, but is this is this literally a judge? I don't know. No, I just, a lot of people will say I should just hire an attorney. But the thing is, this is more just kind of it's all kind of just a, a, a let's see what happens thing. The ticket's only 160 bucks. Right. An attorney for an hour is going to cost more than that. So I want to take this as far as I can on my own to really see what the legal system is like when when it comes to this. But I have no idea what to do. My my concern is if I'm asked specifically on the list why I need document B. I need to have something that will stand up legally as w as to why I need that document. And to be honest, I, I don't. I mean, colloquially, I know, but I'm not sure what case I'm going to make on this thing. I, I'm I'm freaking out, Lewis. Just going to have to wing it, just like you do every day on this show. If people have ideas about what I should be doing here or what's expected, please email me and let me know because I have no idea what's going on. Consider becoming a member. Go to davidpackman.com/slash/membership. Sign up, you'll get the bonus show. Great bonus show today. We'll take a break. Next, we'll talk to Scott Keeter about whether. Debates even matter at all? Who knows? I, I have no idea if they do. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.